back to another video with your boy President Lightskin, aka the full time comedian. Fit X Fearless. I got rejected by 100 baddies in Miami. Here's what I learned. Now, Miami is a very, very, very easy, cheat coded city to live in. People be saying you have to look rich or pretend to be rich to actually get somewhere. All right, bet. Just go out, buy a suit, get a haircut, and just start walking around. Anyway, bro, we about to see if we can learn something too. Like and subscribe. Excuse me. Bro, these tight shorts on. Why do you have on tight shorts, bro? Ladies. Hold on, it's a lot. Oh, no worries. No worries. <laughs> Black women. I tried to approach 100 black girls in Miami. They told me no. All right, guys. So I just got done approaching, and I learned a lot. I got rejected a bunch of times, but it taught me a lot of things. I've showed you guys my success. Now I'm going to show you guys my failures. I think it's super, super important to have integrity and show you the truth so you don't think that I'm bad in a thousand, that I'm perfect. And I'm going to explain to you what I learned from getting rejected. Hey, excuse me. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? How you doing today? Good. What's your name? Cassie. You look good. Hey, man, you better than me. I'm showing faces. But I could tell, like, by the blur of this uh, picture uh, or uh, uh, of this girl, but she look good. Cassie, I, I want to take you out some time. Sorry, I have a point. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Bye. Uh, <laughs> keep it simple just like that. Oh, my God. Uh, Excuse me. Excuse me. It's good, buddy. Nah. Hey, excuse me. How's it going? Hey, you? What's your name? Ballet. Ballet. Yes. Where are you from? I'm from here, but I'm Colombian. Oh, you Colombian? Yeah. Oh, I think you look nice. Uh, I can take you out. No, thank you. Okay. Have a good one. Yeah, like you kept it smooth, but you could tell by his voice, he was kind of like nervous or he was kind of like leaning on like her energy. You feel me? Because he like he could have used his physique. The shorts is not gonna get you no black women. I promise to you, bro. <laughs> she knows. Right, so Are you Colombian? Here's what I would have said. Vale. Vale, excuse me. How's it going? What's your name? Vale. Bet. What's your name? Vale. Yes. Where are you from? Uh, yeah, I would ask where you from. I would ask uh, how how old are you? Where are you from? I'm from here, but I'm Colombian. Are oh, you Colombian? Yeah. Oh, I think you look nice. Uh, I can take you. Yeah, basically, like, I was just walking over there and trying to get something to eat, but I had seen you. You look really nice, really beautiful. I, you know, I like I like your nails. You just got them done? Yeah, cool, whatever. But, yeah, though, uh, I was wondering before I leave, like, can I get your number? Like, you know, I would love to get to know you. Shit like that. You feel what I'm saying, boy? You out. No, thank you. Okay. Yeah, Have a good yeah, yeah, bro, yeah, bro. Like, you <laughs> she know knows. what I'm saying? We're not even trying to talk to you. Bro, what the fuck? She didn't even look at me, bro. She looked at you. Yo, excuse me. How you doing? Hi, I'm good. How are you? What's your name? Sophia. Sophia. Where are you from? Born in Moscow. Moscow? Yes. What are you doing in Miami? Um, just trying to do some stuff. Trying to do some <laughs> Really? I'm you visiting? No, I actually live here. I oh, really? Live here, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. You moved, you just moved here? Kind of. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. It's like, bro, whenever you approaching a girl, bro, it's like, bro, like, you can't be looking around. You gotta, like, look directly at her. You know what I'm saying? Long story, okay. but I mean, I lived in Fort Lauderdale. Now I'm back here again, but. I don't get why. She's interested. I, I come to move. Bro, break up. Break up. For the best. Damn. For the and this might, this might be the stars aligning then, uh, all right? Oh, yeah, for sure. Really? <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you do for fun? I currently at yeah, Western like, Insurance, but I'm kind of like more heading towards the real estate route, so I do that and then modeling, but not only fans, just modeling. Okay. Yeah. All right, Probably, cool. Like, commercial and stuff like that. Yeah. Where are you heading to now? Um, I was actually going to go to the mall. Okay. Yeah. You seem like a cool person. Yeah. Well, we, should, I, we should hang out. I have a boyfriend. Okay. What? Okay, hold on. Like, no yeah. worries. Thank so you. I, we should hang out. I have a boyfriend. Okay. Like, no yeah. worries. Wait, 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 wait. I have a boyfriend, but I can? First thing I learned about rejection. Okay. You have a boyfriend, but you can. Well, we can hang out and, you know what I'm saying? I can give you this dick. You feel me? And then you can go back to your boyfriend. 
is most women reject men that they, that come up to them because he's not already pre-qualified. Now, why this is why is this so important? When I'm walking on the streets or when I'm, you know, anywhere, I get a lot of choosing signals, girls look at me, right? But they don't necessarily know who I am. A lot of women have had experiences with men being creepy, men being weird, and women, they like social proof. They want you to be socially proven. So rejection a lot of the times, guys, happens because the woman hasn't pre-qualified you. This is why you will notice that, let's say for instance, I can get a whole lot of matches on, on date naps because I have set myself up to look a certain way. Yes, the girl might find me attractive. Yes, she might think I look good in person, but there's no pre-qualification. And the woman can kind of be a little bit standoffish. So you probably getting rejected thinking, hold up, I'm doing this work, I'm looking good. Why are these girls not paying attention to Cause y'all not a good finisher, bruh. You're not a good finisher, bruh. And it's kind of sad seeing good looking men or physically fit men that just can't finish, bro. And how you finish, coming to the girl, you greet her, you feel me? You make you make sure everything cool, not creepy. You feel me? You go like you walk up to her, introduce yourself, ask her a couple of questions, explain to her why you there, and explain to her, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, look, I wanna get your number or get something, and you know, I I don't want to get to know you, you know? We should hang out sometime, you feel me? Something like that, bro. Y'all dudes don't know how to finish. I don't, listen, I don't know if it's just because y'all so, y'all so used to women coming up to y'all, or is it just the fact that like, you feel me? Y'all just don't know how to talk to girls, I don't know. To me, chances are, she already has denied you before you came up to her. So you can't let this shit bother you at all. Yeah. I've approached hundreds of girls. I've been rejected plenty of times. And I know at the end of the day, it cannot affect my confidence because I know what I just said. Chances are, I am not already pre-qualified. So a lot of women are a lot more standoffish, right? Don't take this shit so seriously. Rejection is a part of the game. If you go out there and you talk to a girl and she tells you no, you're gonna skip out on the girls that actually like you when you give up. I've met a lot of beautiful girls from approaching. Some girls might be in the mood, some girls might not be in the mood. Some girls might be in a hurry, some girls might just be chilling. You don't know exactly what the girl, is, what her current mindset state is. So and you, you go up to this girl, you talk to her, she tells you no, and then now you give up. Oh, see, I knew it, I knew it fit. You know, approaching sucks. You see, you get rejected too. What's the point of me fucking doing it? Because I know I'm never gonna be perfect. I'm gonna approach women. If you notice, when I was approaching girls, I was doing it the wrong way, on purpose. I was going up to them, validating them, trying to prove a point, right? And I'm gonna talk about that a little bit later. Mm -hmm. But chances are, when a woman tells you no, you don't know where what her current mind state is and you haven't been pre-qualified. So a lot of women are gonna tell you no off a of default. She's used to guys probably coming up to her, trying to hit on her, and her initial wall barrier is to say no, right? So. Because nine times out of 10, bro, if you haven't approached her, all the dudes that have approached her have no game. They don't know how to talk to women. They're very aggressive. Or they probably do have game, but they just don't have the looks. You can't be a super aggressive. You can't be too upset. You can't get too attached to the outcome, which is why. But listen, the best practice to approach women is older women. You need to start approaching older women. Like, look at their face. And look at how they dress, and you can tell like if they in their 30s, 40s, or 20s. Teach you guys to always be outcome independent. So that's the first thing. Most women are gonna reject you. You're gonna get a lot of rejections as part of the game yep. because you haven't been pre-qualified in a certain way. Second thing I learned, guys, was when you approach women with validation, they automatically look at you as below them. You guys already know, I've talked about this plenty of times. I did it in my my other code approach video, uh, you can go watch it after the video, where I was kind of pre-qualifying the girls myself. When you go up to a woman and you validate her and you say, hey, you look good, hey, this, hey, you're beautiful, hey, they automatically look at the dynamic as this. She's up here, you're down here. And even if the woman might think you're attractive, she now thinks her shit doesn't stink. She now is carrying herself like, oh, you want me. You want to fuck with me. And as a matter of fact, I will go a step further and say this. When you work on yourself and you look good, and you, the first thing you're doing when you're validating a woman, she thinks something is wrong with you. I fucking guarantee you. Think about it like this, right? I'm FedEx Fearless. I'm a handsome guy in great shape, et cetera, et cetera. I go up to a girl and the first thing I tell her is, hey, you look good. Hey, you beautiful. 
Hey, I like to take you out. I was doing that shit on purpose to prove a point. It be girls that I be seeing on social media that be in my city or that I see in real life. And I just be like, man, I wish I could tell how beautiful she looks. But I know I can't do that because it's going to be consequences. And I'm going to get laughed at in the group chat and on social media. <laughs> the girl's like, hold the fuck up. I mean, he looks good. But why he coming up to me validating me like that? What the fuck is wrong with him? He don't already get girls? The fucking gurus on the internet will have you believe, oh, it doesn't matter what you said to the woman. Yes, the fuck it does. Because she can, she can like you and then you talk your way out of the motherfucker. You make yourself look weaker. Why would a man who already has options be leading with validation? Think about it, right? If you're a guy, and a super beautiful girl is just all over you. She's just pursuing you, bombarding you with messages and calls. You might think what? Hold up, something ain't right here. This might be too good to be true. That's what the girls are thinking. A lot of the times when you've done the work and you are approaching girls and you leave with a compliment, they think this is too good to be true. Something has to be wrong with him. He has to be a weirdo. He has to be a creep. So they automatically like- Wait, hold on. I thought you was approaching a hundred girls, not giving me game. Okay, so you're just giving me game. All right, you know it's worse than a girl rejecting you, Josh rejecting you. That's a fact. Let's see. I am five six without shoes, so barefoot at night ish. Close to seven in the morning, barefoot. I am not blessed with tall jeans, but the short ones. As my mom five zero oh, and my dad five nine, my bro five. I have no chance. Do I have no chance of getting girls? Should I focus on getting girls my height or a little bit shorter, which I like the height difference of being my same height? Should I hit the gym? What about dating apps? That was it for this video. And uh, y'all y'all boys, let me know y'all experience. Uh, yes, you have to type a whole paragraph. I will read the whole entire paragraph and reply to your comment. All right? Like and subscribe.